Marcus House with you here and wow did you all just see that incredible display from SpaceX with the very first high altitude flight. Well we were all watching it live and I tell you what this is quite literally one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Elon Musk had estimated that this flight had a 33% chance of completing all objectives for the test and I guess he was mostly right because it didn't quite stick that landing. My gosh though every other milestone for the most part looks to have been successful. Successful. News is coming out about all this as we talk about it, of course. I'm sure there's going to be several improvements to any hiccups in the flight to address, but who knows what the next flight with Starship Serial Number 9 might improve on. This was the moment that we've all been waiting for, and it's finally occurred on Wednesday, the 9th of December at 4.45 p.m. local time. Starship SN8 there is the first of this class of rocket to fly to a significant altitude and complete that flip maneuver at 12.5 kilometers and then belly flop back to the landing pad. This flight proves once again that the SpaceX team can push beyond what the doubters thought possible. With this flight, a moment that goes down in history has come and gone, and humanity has begun at last its journey into a strange, new, exciting future. The official SpaceX YouTube channel shared with us an incredible live stream during this flight, with many amazing views that we'll dive into right now. Arising from that plume of dust, SN8 rode the pillar of fire on those three Raptor engines that gracefully accelerated away from the pad, disappearing to a dot in the sky for anybody that had normal perspectives from the ground. We had incredible footage from the vessel itself though thanks to SpaceX's live stream. As the vessel ascended, one engine was shut down, followed quite soon by the next. This was normal and it was done to reduce the overall thrust to weight ratio as the tanks emptied out. Once SN8 reached its maximum altitude of 12.5 kilometers, the last Raptor shut down, the RCS thrusters started firing and aero surfaces started maneuvering into position. Even cooler, the last Raptor fired for an incredible four minutes and four 40 seconds, the longest firing of a Raptor in a flight by a long shot. With SN8 laying down horizontally, it then performed a controlled belly flop back to the landing site. Right at that critical moment as SN8 was approaching the ground at terminal velocity, two of the three Raptors successfully fired up again, flipping SN8 back to its vertical position. As it approached the landing pad, those six legs failed to flip out it seems and we saw a green tinge coming out of one of the Raptors. The green flame could mean that the engines were running very lean with a short supply of methane in the mixture. This resulted in a loss of thrust for SN8 which then crashed and exploded right in the center of the landing pad. Elon shed light on the issue saying that the fuel header tank pressure was low during the landing burn causing the touchdown velocity to be high. A rapid unscheduled disassembly or RUD predictably followed. In the end though SpaceX got all of the data they needed. Huge congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. Just incredible. There has just been an abundance of significant milestones achieved during this flight which exceeded all of our expectations. Let's just take a look at that landing attempt one more time. Now for a moment there it looked like we were going to see the ship smash directly into some of the new ground equipment. We were holding our breath for that one. It does look like it partially took out that new tent structure. So yes, not 100% there on the touchdown, but so good all the same. To be honest, I wasn't expecting this flight to go this well, but just after all the successes in the flight, Elon tweeted that it had a successful ascent, fuel feed switch over to the header tanks and precise flap control right down to its landing point. Also 
that the Wrapped Engines did great as well. Here's a screenshot of the final moment of SN8. Just remember, it doesn't matter that it exploded, it doesn't matter that the header tanks lost pressure at the end there. The data collected during this flight is priceless to SpaceX and it truly represents what can be done when engineers unite and build something wonderful. Elon summed up the day by saying SN8 did great. Even reaching Apogee would have been great. So controlling all the way to putting a crater in the right spot was just epic. A little later that night, SpaceX tweeted what I think is the shot of the day. Here we see the camera nearby the pad pointing straight up at the beast as it skydives its way down. The last few seconds there showing the incredible flip with a slow attempted touchdown. You can see right there that the engine cuts out making it begin to fall a little faster right at the end for that RUD. So yes, on these momentous few days, it is timely, I think, to think about what the SpaceX team has achieved. Multiple prototypes and test tanks have brought us to this point where we are now looking at the Starship vehicle flying and almost landing successfully after breaking free from the ground and reaching for the sky. This time in history is bringing our sci-fi dreams into the reality of spaceflight today. These Starship vehicles will one day take the first humans to Mars, and this milestone right here takes us one step closer to that historical event that will change human life as we know it. Now, we will have more detail on this as it comes to light, of course, in Saturday's video. We are following the progression towards putting humans on the moon.